Okay, <clears throat> I'm still dealing with my measurement on the neutral safety switch for the 97 Corolla. And uh, I had something I wanted to show you about how to measure that. Now, this is this schematic and the neutral safety switch is right here. Previously, I had removed this connector, put the transmission in park or neutral, and directly measured this with an ohmmeter. And I was getting very irregular results. Uh, uh, measurements as high as mega ohm and as low as 100 ohms. And I thought that the switch was bad because I was doing the procedure as listed in my hand manual. Uh, I later found out that I, the safety switch appeared okay because I rebuilt the starter solenoid and that's what caused um, the problem to go away. So I've, I'm coming back to this measurement because of the fact that the uh, technique I first used was didn't seem reliable enough. Now, so I'm, I'm, I'm doing this again more carefully. And in this case, I, I should say now, I've added a as from a previous video, I've added jumper wires from these two locations and brought them up to the top of the engine compartment. The black white wire and the black wire. These are the two wires I have here now. I've got a black and a black white wire. And I can use these to make measurements without going under the car. Also, what I've done now to improve the measurement is I've taken out the starter relay right here. Now the starter relay is on the driver's side kick panel above the fuse box. It's uh, it's right here. Uh, it's actually labeled. Uh, let's see, I really, the focus on this camera is not good, but it actually is called starter relay. There it is, right on the top. Starter relay right there. You can see it. And it also gives a little circuit diagram. One, two, three, and five. One and two, you can see there, are the input side. And then three and five are the output now. I pulled this out, and um, I can show you where it is, where it comes from, more or less. It's, you can't see it very good. I don't have a light right now, so yeah, I won't follow up on that. Uh, I measured the um, with my ohmmeter. I measured the impedance on the input side. It came out to 70 ohms. Okay. Now that means that this switch, when it's closed, should be significantly lower than 70 ohms because the idea is you want, of course, the current to go through the starter relay to to engage the starter motor. Okay. Now, right now, I've taken all, I have off the battery ground, so the battery's not in the situation. I have the key out of the ignition, and I have the transmission right now in, uh, in neutral. Okay, I put it in neutral, and I took the key out of the ignition. I had to, um, uh, play around with the, the key and the if you have it in park, it will lock in position if the key's out and you can't move it. I want it here because I want to be able to move it between neutral and drive to test the switch. Okay. For example, if I put it in drive, the, the switch should read a very high impedance. And right now I have my ohmmeter hooked up across the black and the black-white wire and it's reading overload. That's really what I want. The fact that it's overload indicated that the switch is open. It also is kind of indicating that any of these possible bypass, bypass paths are not really conducting current, see? Uh, you can see here that there are paths to the electronic control module and other components. And there's also a path here to the in engine control module. That could affect this in-circuit measurement of impedance. But in this case, it doesn't seem to because if there was current going through that path, I wouldn't be getting the overload. Now I'm going to put it in neutral. Okay, and, and you'll see what I've got in here is, well, it's not a steady measurement. It actually started off over a K ohm. Now it seems to be dropping down to about 500 ohms. Uh, that's not, if that was really uh, the impedance, 
on this meter, on, the, on my neutral safety switch, that wouldn't be very good because I've got that 500 ohms or 400 ohms, and then it's going into the starter relay of 70 ohms. Most of the voltage is going to drop across the switch. And of course, it's not, a, it, it's not very repeatable. I've done this many times. It, it comes out with a, a wide variety of values. And um, I didn't really know what was causing it. Um, and I have this idea that it may not be a good idea to measure this with the ohm meter because the, uh, the ohm meter is a low current, low voltage measurement. When you put this into the resistance setting, it's, it's, it's only uh, applying a voltage of, um, of about 700 millivolts across the uh, terminals in order to make the measurement. And, and that can result apparently uh, for this switch uh, with t some irregular measurements. Now when the switch is actually being used, you're going to get as much as 12 volts initially across this until current starts flowing in the circuit. Uh, so it has to be, when it, this would have to stand off 12 volts. Okay, so what I've got here instead is another way of making this measurement. Okay, uh, let me put this in, new, in park just to show you what I get when it's in park. I can put it into park. Now I'm not going to be able to get it out of park, but that's okay. I can leave it in park. Uh, park, I'm, I'm actually getting, look at that. Now I've got 5k ohms. That's much too high for this to actually work. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is a different kind of test. Uh, instead of this small signal measurement, I'm going to be measuring this in large signal domain. So what I have is, a, this is a 12 volt test light. It, it's actually made just out of a turn signal light or one of the uh, other lights that are used. Uh, I got it. I just cut that off of an old car. It's just a junk part. Now, this is a test light. So there's a way of doing this using test light instead of an ohmmeter. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to hook up the test light. Oh yeah, now the test light, where I'm going to hook the test light up, imagine here now, I've got the starting motor uh, uh, eliminated, so I'm not going to be able to start the car this way. But if I have the battery hooked up and I engage the, uh, to the switch to the start position, I should see 12 volts showing at both locations on the switch. It'll always show up on the input side, but now on the output side, I should get 12 volts. The output side happens to be black. So if I hook up the test, the test circuit, test light, between the black wire, okay, and my system ground, so for this measurement now, I'm gonna be using the 12 volt battery of the car to make the measurement. I want a large circuit measurement of the of the impedance of that switch. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on. Okay, now I'm going to put the key in the ignition, and I'm going to put this to the start position. I will get tw I will end up getting 12 volts across this light if this switch closes. Now the good thing about this test light is the impedance of that filament initially is very low. Uh, maybe less than an ohm or something. But when the heat starts heating up and the current starts flowing through it, then it, 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 it has a much higher impedance and that limits the current. This is, a test light can be very good for making a measurement of something which has a nonlinear characteristic. You could have high impedance at, at low current, but at higher current, the impedance can drop. So, and that seems to, be, <clears throat> seems to be what's happening with this switch. When I make my measurement on the ohm meter, I seem to be getting a high impedance. Now, I'm going to look at this light. I'm going to put, the, uh, put the, uh, the transmissions in park. I'm going to put the, the uh, ignition switch to the start position. The engine will not start because the starter relay is off. And now we're going to actually look through the dash here, and we're just going to see that light. And you can see the light, I put it onto the start position. I can hold it on the start position more or less as long as I want because the engine is not going to turn over. And that shows that that test light is lighting fine. Uh, the switch, the neutral safety switch, in no way could that be producing 12k ohms because this light would not be lighting up like that. 
Um, so the continuity is actually good on this switch, but not as indicated by my my digital ohm meter because I, I need apparently to get a larger voltage across it. Okay, so I just wanted to share that. Okay, with you, so that might help you.